That was a little uh, performance over our 12A blues with some changes. Now, our triads that we were talking about earlier on, get around the whole progression with just our triads. So you can see it's just the same thing going on inside all the chords. And then these can all just be. Extensions of those triads. And then we've got those little extensions to work with when we're playing a melody over it. Um, the trick here for me on a tune like this is to start out simple. So don't try and blow all over the changes, but try and find the good notes that are nearest by to, to where, you're, uh, where you find yourself, to bring out the changes um, and uh, bring out the melody that the changes offer you. So that's, that's what we're aiming for here. So, you know, we have the one chord. Then very quickly we get the five chord. So we can uh, just dip into that. In this case, it's an F minor pentatonic. Back to our B flat major pentatonic. Then into our E flat kind of mixolydian sound, which is also, you know, the uh, B flat major pentatonic, if you want to see it like that. Then we get a diminished chord in the progression. So we've got our diminished arpeggio that we talked about earlier. Back to the one. Then we get a six chord. We're making this one a seventh. It's a cool chord to alter. You can uh, make it like a sharp five. Or... To our two chord, which could, you might find sometimes a minor chord. Technically, it, it would be a minor, but a lot of blues will alter that to a seventh as well. And then to our five. Back to our one. So this little area of the, of the six, two, five, that's where your major pentatonic becomes your friend again. Um, it can seem quite daunting, uh, these changes when you first encounter them, particularly if you've um, been used to playing minor pentatonic over everything. So um, my number one tip would be major pentatonic is your friend because it works over all of them. So we get... <laughs> trying to bring out those changes but 
just reaching for the notes that are the ones contained within the chord. Same up here in the BB box. You can play this whole progression. without venturing much further than that. Even that diminished chord. There's our six. There's our two to the five. So you don't have to like be trying to play every single scale from every single chord. We look, we're going to use those scales and the chords as a guide to find the good note to play over the change. And that's really what I'm interested in is not trying to feel like I've got to play the entire major pentatonic or the entire mixolydian over each change. I'm using those as a guide to help me find the right note to play. <laughs> 